Okay guys, so it's Valentine's Day coming up, and as we know, Oyster is one of the most notorious aphrodisiacs. I think some people sometimes are a little bit apprehensive to get oysters and shut them on the half shell at home, uh, but I wanted to show you this technique, it's very easy. So, uh, one thing about serving oysters on the half shell, um, obviously you want to make sure that you have a great source for seafood. Um, freshness is key here, uh, and we are uh, in a wealth and abundance of, of great seafood and oysters here in Seattle. These particular oysters are called Totten Reginicas, one of my favorites. And as you can see with these oysters, one thing that we really like is that the oysters are nice and firm and they've got lots of what we call oyster liquor. That's sort of the natural liquid that lives inside the oyster. Incredibly fresh uh, and when we see it nice and clear and full of oyster liquor like that, we know we've got a great oyster. So, but it's as easy as just having like a, a dish towel at home to save you. So you can really get a grip on the oyster with the towel and hold it there. If you were to somehow miss, the, the, the towel is going to save you from putting the oyster knife through your hand, which is good, believe me. Okay, so like I said, you know, I, I tell my cooks all the time, when you open an oyster, it's kind of like swinging a golf club, right? It's not about how much force we put into the oyster, it's really about the technique that we open. All oysters like this have a hinge right in here. What we're going to do is take just the point of the oyster and get it into the hinge. As soon as it's in there and it's secure, it's not about inward force, but it's about side to side rocking motion so that we can break that hinge. And if we get in there very lightly and just turn it to the side, you saw that the hinge just broke like that. The oyster is now open, okay? We can slide the knife in very easily, turn it to the side, and start running down the side. Take off this part, scrape any of the oyster off, okay? And at this point, um, because we've pushed the knife into the oyster, you might have little bits of shell. And we want to make sure that we get that clean before we serve this to anybody. So you can just come around with your finger and make sure there's no shell around the edge. If there's any sort of impurity, we can just get that out. This is a beautiful looking oyster, as we can see. The only thing left is that the oyster is also connected to the other side of the shell. So we want to come in here with our knife. Get that muscle disconnected. It's ready to go and it's as easy as that. Certainly something that you may have to practice a couple times, but not anything you should be scared of. Um, so get oysters, get an oyster knife, get a dish towel, shuck some oysters, and enjoy Valentine's Day.